everyone, I'm Rhino Clavin, and this is your Diz Daily Fix for Tuesday, February 21st, 2017. Here's what's happening today. I do apologize. My teleprompter has stopped working, so I'll be reading off of my laptop this morning. So first up, Disney Cruise Line has just announced some exciting new ports and itineraries for their 2018 sailings. In the summer of 2018, Disney Cruise Line will sail on new itineraries and to new ports, including first-time visits to destinations in Italy and Ireland. Disney Cruise Line takes guests on a grand tour of Europe with visits to the Mediterranean, Northern Europe, Norway, and Iceland. Um, Plus, adventures are going to continue with sailings to Alaska, the Caribbean, and the Bahamas. There are new sailings from Rome to Barcelona, first-time visits to Milan, Italy, Cork Island, and the first seven-night British Isles cruise. Uh, Also in 2018, the Disney Dream will sail a series of cruises that include two stops at Castaway Cay so guests can have twice the fun in the sun and enjoy even more of the pristine island paradise. For more information on the 2018 Cruise Line sailings or to get in touch with a Disney Cruise Line specialist, please visit dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Now while we're on the topic of sea... SeaWorld, see what I did there? Uh, SeaWorld is expected to report lower revenue and attendance in 2016. In advance of next week's full earnings report, SeaWorld Entertainment has provided estimates of their 2016 revenues and attendances. Um, SeaWorld is looking at some refinancing of their debt and needed to release some of those figures early. Revenues are expected to total $1.344 billion, which is down from the $1.37 billion in 2015. The total number of visitors to SeaWorld, uh, SeaWorld's theme parks was down about half a million to 22 million, and SeaWorld said much of the drop in attendance was due to the across-the-board drop in Orlando tourism. Complete earnings will be released during a conference call on February 28th, 2017. Now, our final story sounds like something out of Star Trek. Uh, so there's been some rumors floating around online about the 2017 iPhone 8 possibly having the ability to be charged without using any cables, wires, or charging pads. MacRumors.com is reporting today that Disney Research has built a prototype living room that will allow consumers to move freely about while their device charges. Uh, quote, the room's walls, ceilings, and floors were built with aluminum panels and a large copper uh, pipe was placed in its center. The middle of the pipe was cut out, and in the gap, the researchers placed 15 capacitors. That's the end of that quote. Um, the capacitors, according to Mac Rumors, set the electromagnetic frequency of the structure and are able to find the electric fields. Uh, there is a generator sitting just outside of this prototype living room that generates the power that's relayed into the room. However, there is a limit to the amount of power allowed to be pumped in before it reaches dangerous levels for humans. That sounds terrifying. The absorption rate is capped at um, 1,900 watts. The copper pole at the room center requires the nearest person to have at least 46 centimeters of clearance before they're put in danger. Besides these restrictions, Disney says it's completely safe for anyone to occupy the room for any period of time. A receiver was also designed to allow many devices in the room to receive power simultaneously. Apple's Phil Schiller has mentioned previously that introducing a wireless charging pad for iPhone would be more complicated than this wireless charging system. That sounds insane to me. It's not officially known at this time what Disney is planning to do with this technology, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, It sounds like standing in a microwave, and I realize that makes me sound like my mother, but I'm just nervous. The future makes me nervous. Over on the Diz Today, our featured article comes from Mike Taylor, who lists five improvements to the Magic Kingdom desperate, uh, excuse me, five improvements that the Magic Kingdom desperately needs, such as reimagined Tomorrowland Speedway and making extra magic hours more frequent and at night only. Uh, check out that article and many more great articles on www.info.com. Trending on the Diz boards today is a thread discussing the seating for the new Rivers of Light show at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Poster Four Holidays started the discussion on the theme parks, attractions, and strategies board, wondering if Fast Pass Plus or a dining package is the best option for getting better seats. Maps of the theater are being shared along with experiences from those who have seen the show. Look for the thread entitled FP or Dining Package Sitting Seating Better for ROL. All that at disboards.com. Coming up today, live at 1 p.m. To, uh, on disunplugged.com is the Disney World edition of the Diz Unplugged. Uh, we have lots of news to talk about this week, uh, like the just released 2018 Cruise Line itinerary and the debut of Rivers of Light, plus tons more. And again, that's live at 1 p.m. today. Finally, the weather. Out in Anaheim today and tomorrow, it's going to be a little cloudy with highs in the upper 60s and a low tonight around 50. Tomorrow, the temp dips just a bit lower with a low around 40. 
here in Orlando today, it's uh, pretty nice with a high just around 80 and a low around 64. Tomorrow, sadly, is looking to be a little rainy with a high around 74 and a low around 62. Now, for links to everything that was discussed in today's Diz Daily Fix, please visit the Daily Fix main page at www.info.com. That is going to do it for me today. The Daily Fix will return tomorrow with someone that is hopefully not myself or Steve. I hope you have a great day, everyone. Thank you.